Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Ashton Corners. We are back doing some more field work. Um, I did pick up a new roller. Uh, one of my subscribers actually uh, mentioned this one. A uh, little bit better. It's a little bigger than the one that we had, and it's a little bit kind of older, I guess. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before, but it works. Uh, this is the Bark. I don't know. Um, roller. So today, what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to get this field rolled, and then we are going to uh, jump to November. We're going to get our cows moved and get them, uh, make sure that we have enough feed in our main yard to support the uh, Angus cows and the Holsteins. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Um, so if you guys noticed in the past couple of videos, uh, I've kind of been playing around with doing the videos a little bit differently, uh, doing some cuts and throwing in some time lapses throughout the videos. Um, in doing it that way, the videos might be shorter than a half hour, might be longer than a half hour, never know. So let me know what you guys think of the videos being run that way. And, uh... I think I might start kind of doing them that way a little more. It will probably help us uh, progress through things. So um, that is probably what I'm going to be doing from now on. And that is actually what we're going to do right now. So enjoy uh, the time lapse of us getting this rolling done. We can set the world on fire, fire.
gonna get this last little strip finished up and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this guy up into our shed I don't think yeah we can wait to fuel it up until next year Awesome. So, this guy can get folded up, and we can get on out of here. gonna bother washing it either and then we'll be able to uh, get that shed closed up as well Perfect. Get that closed up and then get this closed up. And there we have it. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and we're going to jump to November and uh, get some cows moved around here. So we will see you guys in just a minute. All right, and we are back. We're going to start loading up some cows. <clears throat> we are going to take them 15 at a time. And we are going to get them moved out of here. We're going to get them moved uh, right down here to our main yard. And then uh, at some point before these cows go back in to our freestall barn, we are going to need, uh, we're going to need to <coughs> take our bobcat in there and take that uh, pile of manure out. We're just going to probably just going to pile it outside. We're going to just back right on in. Perfect. And. Oh, okay. Can't go that way. I go around. Got a little too close. Swing the door open. And get them unloaded. Now, are they in? Okay. So we'll show. Perfect. All right. Go ahead and do that. We're just going to open that slide up right away. Come 
mirrors don't really show us nothing. Hold on, I fold it down. Can you see? There we go. Okay. Well, we'll uh, fold down the mirrors then. Still have not found out just why it won't do any of the IC controls inside. But uh, apparently it just will not. So we'll get them all moved and I think we're actually going to have enough food to last for a little while yet. So we shouldn't need to do anything with that right now. Perfect. Get 15 more loaded up. Oh, man. Right on where the trigger is for the door. I think we'll uh, we should have about two more loads left, and then we will have all of them moved. here and open up the gate. That should work there. Can we fit through here this time or are we too close again? Yeah, we're too close. All right. That's all right. Get the back opened up again. Okay, there is 30 of them moved. And we'll go get a couple more loads. I'm sure some people are sitting here going, well, what's the point of doing this? But there really is no point. Just, I guess, in the winter time, normally you would want your cows a little closer to home. So, that's exactly what we are doing. Is moving them closer into the yard. Granted, yeah, this barn isn't all that far away, but still. I think we're going to take, uh, we'll just take 15 again. Come back for five more. And then we'll be good to go. Check 
cargo gets a little bit loose with this big load behind it. Should be good there. There we go. Oh, come on, where's my trigger here? There we go. Okay. Go back for the last five. Come on, give me that spot here. Oh, that right there. There we go. Yeah, we can just leave the gate open. We got a cattle guard there, anyways. It's not going to take us Ooh. drifting around here. It's not going to take us super long, so they should be all right. Back far enough? Must not be. Nope. Well, we're through the building. Oh well. There we go. We'll get them loaded up. And then, close down the barn, and we are done in there until spring. So I'm thinking in probably around like March, April um, is probably when we'll move them back. We'll see. Just kind of have to see how it goes, I guess. We're going to keep getting the uh, gate trigger. And we're still getting it. Well, let's just get this unloaded. If we can here. sudden now can we get her there we go load these guys and I suppose we've got to grab a picture for the old thumbnail here There we 
go. Let's get this thing pulled up out of here. Oop. Guess we're not going to fit. Okay. We'll close that and then we'll pull out of here. Alright, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, we still have plenty of feed for them. So, another three months and we should start seeing calves start coming. So, we, uh, we want to have them calve up in the free stall barn. So, we should be right around that March area that uh, we start seeing some calves start coming. So we're going to back the trailer in here. we have it I think we are pretty much done with uh, all of our work for the year I think we should be good until about springtime alrighty guys that's gonna do it for today uh, we're gonna jump on into springtime here. We don't really have a whole lot to do this winter since we, uh, don't have any crops. Um, while I'm thinking of it here, though, let's go ahead and pick up a forage blower. I just gotta figure out where exactly they are. Uh, miscellaneous, maybe? We have a John Deere 65, a New Holland F62B. Let's go with the John Deere 65 here. I think that should work. And then we'll get that uh, brought to the farm for us. And we'll get that thing put away. And then we will have that to uh, put our silage into the Harvestor silos next fall but alrighty guys I think that's going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always we'll catch y'all tomorrow